Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope your 2018 is fabulous so far. Today I'd like to address a few questions about my being vegan. But before we go into those questions, let me just clarify these four terminologies that you may have read, encountered, heard from other people or through me. <laughs> because I use all these terms interchangeably at any given time. Plant-based, vegetarian, vegan, veganism. Plant-based means zero or minimal animal consumption. I know it sounds vague, which really is. It just defines the whole uh, mindset, discipline, and eating habit, okay? Vegetarian means no meat, no chicken, no fish, but you can have dairy or eggs. That's why you can categorize yourself either as a lacto-ovo vegetarian, Vegan. Vegan is complete absence of all the things I've mentioned from meat, poultry, dairy, fish, eggs, and its byproducts in every food that you eat. Okay? And finally, veganism, which is a mindset, a discipline, an activism of sort, because not only you are a vegan in your food, but you have completely stopped procuring, using, wearing products that are made from animals or their byproducts and this is because of your compassion for animals. So I'll tell you my personal story. I have been on a plant-based diet for over a decade, tossing between a vegetarian and vegan until I fully embraced veganism in 2017, mid of 2017 to be exact. So the most common question I get asked all the time is, why am I vegan? My straightforward answer is that when I started this journey 10 years ago, I really want to take care of myself physically, mentally, emotionally. When I was in my late 20s up to my early 30s, I was very unhealthy, kind of on the heavy side, sickly, and acne ridden. I always have joint pains. I would just bleed my gums. That's when I decided that I have to stop. I have to rectify my lifestyle before it gets worse so that's when i turned to plant-based diet back then so health reason and then i fully embraced like i said veganism mid of 2017 last year after a thorough self-analysis self-evaluation because i want to really align my lifestyle from the food i eat from the products i use from the clothes i wear from everything that i have in my life right now so that explains the revamp of my channel of my blog just because i love sharing with you my journey okay next question is it hard to be a vegan now it's a tricky question because if you ask me it wasn't that hard if we talk about food because i grew up eating like i said plant-based i grew up very conservative i know it just doesn't look obvious right now but i was raised by my grandparents that you can't i can't be picky we can't be picky with what we eat so anything in the table we have to eat and you know grandparents they're more into nutrition especially i was raised in the 80s right being raised well as far as eating uh, vegetables played an important role for me to be able to embrace the vegan lifestyle so easily. Now next question, is it hard to transition from being a meat eater to a plant-based diet? I have a few tips for you. I have written a complete one-on-one -on -one guide on the blog, but straightforward answer. Just try to introduce a meat-free meal at least once or even better three times a week and that's how you will transition. So second is to significantly reduce the portion of your meat intake so why don't you swap make salad as your main meal and have a little bit of meat okay and then third there are a lot of faux meat that you can buy from your local whole foods make a quick trip and then see what options you can do like my husband likes the vegan deli okay vegan turkey but of course it's not real turkey right vegan cheese you got plant 
patties there that you can use for your burger and they just taste just the same so these are the kind of things that can help you if you're missing the texture but let me tell you going plant-based is the best decision that you can really do for your own health okay next interesting question now where do you get your protein where do you get your calcium straightforward answer where do cows get their protein don't they eat grass plants exactly my point um, we have been made to believe that cow is the only source of protein but that is the greatest fallacy you can get protein from a variety of plants broccoli spinach beans legumes soy i'll be posting a direct link of all kinds of uh, plants that are great sources of protein so that you have an idea that you can obtain protein from plants and if you eat a variety of those in a given day yes you're practically covered already now what about calcium again we were made to believe that cow's milk is the only source of calcium then why is it that despite all these years of educating the public about it then why is it the incidence of osteoporosis continue to soar next question do you really lose weight when you're on a vegan diet straight answer yes however you can be vegan and unhealthy if you're snacking on this vegan junk food with the rise of the vegan demographics there are a lot of companies now that are really jumping into this bandwagon selling you all oh, this is vegan healthy stuff for you but if you look at the ingredients at the label it's reeking with sugar that is disguised in a lot of ways with a lot of oil so you have to really read the label you don't want to read the label go straight to the produce section vegetables and fruits they are what they are only the good stuff only the healthy stuff so there you go i hope i was able to answer basic questions pertaining to my vegan lifestyle i'll be back with another video featuring another topic but meanwhile have a wonderful afternoon day evening wherever you are mahalo for watching my video